Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies. And today, we are gonna be having some fun with some mini games. If you didn't know, last episode we finished the story mode and defeated the final boss, which was a lot of fun. But before we do, there are a couple things unlocked and a couple things I wanna update you guys on. Of course, we have our achievements on the left and has a little description and collect all of the trophies in mini games, puzzle, and survival to get the gold sunflower trophy. And if we click it, we can see different achievements. Uh, I won't show all these because there sort of are some spoilers with this and they actually are tied to my Steam account. So some of them, like Mortar, Mortar Culturalist, that is such a tongue twister. Collect all 49 plants, including plants from Crazy Dave Shop. We haven't done that one, but it's unlocked because I've done it in a different playthrough. So that's a shame. I don't know if we'll be going for the gold sunflower. It'll be sort of up to you guys if you want to see something like that. But for now, we are playing some mini games. Oh, actually. Before I do that, um, I do have the Zen Garden. These guys have been growing up nice and strong and they give us a diamond now, which is amazing, which means I can go ahead and buy this. We just made a thousand. So I can buy this for 750, still have 250 left over and get another diamond. So at this point, we could go ahead and buy a couple more. If we check out the shop, um, probably shouldn't have backed out the way I did, but there are three more Marigold Sprouts. So let me go ahead and buy three of these and it's gonna be good to do that. It might seem like a waste of cash at first, but they always give you a bigger return than what you put in. So definitely worth doing that. And soon enough we could buy things like this. So it might seem a little low on cash right now, but it'll inevitably benefit us. And there are some other things that we won't check out now, but sometime in the future we definitely will. So let's go back to Crazy Dave's shop. I'm gonna go ahead and water that and water that and water this. And we'll have to come back and water these between mini games or something. I don't think we're gonna tackle every single mini game because as you can see with all these slots, there are actually quite a lot. We'll try to probably do uh, half of the mini games today and maybe the other half next episode. That sounds like a lot of fun for me and hopefully fun for you. So let's get started with mini game number one, which is Zombotany. And the more we completed these, the more we unlock. And this one's an interesting one. As you can see, the rolls are flipped. The plants have, well, I guess the plants are just plants. The zombies, though, have plant heads so they can shoot back. So they're basically all catapult zombies. So this might not be easy. Luckily, we have all of our plants that we have currently unlocked at our disposal. So that'll make things a little bit easier. So I'm gonna try to go for whatever's gonna work for me. Um, something like that's not too bad. And then maybe as a sort of like an ultimate backup, we could do chomper. And just in case we make a lot of sun, melon bolt sounds fun to me because it's just a normal grass. And oh, I miss the normal front lawn. I really miss this. Just having a front lawn at our disposal to work with instead of a pool or a roof or something ridiculous or it being nighttime. No, it's just good old front lawn. And that's how it is for the most of the mini games. and every mini game is a little bit different and that makes it a whole bunch of fun. And like I said, every time you complete one, you unlock another, so that's always fun too. So we already got our first pea shooter down there, our first uh, pea shooter zombie. It's a little weird, but the potato mine, of course the shots go right over them, so that's pretty good. But that would end up damaging our poor sunflower friends, so we gotta be careful about where the next zombie pops up. So having a lot of defense, maybe getting some walnuts out a little early is probably gonna be worth our while. I mean, with my current setup, I'm only gonna be able to get like a pea shooter and then a torchwood, so that might be a bit of a problem. But that's where the potato mines come in handy as well. Just gotta wait for this one to pop up. Just like this, awesome. So we're doing pretty decent so far. Getting out early walnut seems to help, but I feel like I probably made a mistake putting him there in hindsight. Uh, I should have put him farther out because how am I gonna fit in like the chomper if I really still want to do that, which I think I do. Um, so will you, come on potato mine, thank you, you worked. And then put this there. No, why'd I do that though? If it's wrong, then why did I do it again? <laughs> Maybe this won't be as tough as I'm thinking, but it might be, you never know. Maybe I'll just leave the chompers as backup. Maybe it'd just be easier to get pea shooter torchwood out for right now. Okay, so we're sort of handling this. As you can see, they don't take too many damage. I think that they are sort of kind of the same as a brown coat in that way. So if I could get another torchwood out here soon so I can protect this pea shooter who's actually taking a bit of damage at the moment. He might get taken out if we don't get anything soon. Come on, come on, come on. Boop, 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 got it. And then another one there, just in case another one pops up. Probably should have saved and saved onto it, yeah, and put it somewhere else, that would have been smarter. But for now, I can do this, I guess. It's not really the best idea, but replacing some flowers isn't too impossible. But I do need to start focusing on this lane. So hopefully <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that some flower is okay. She's taking some damage, but it's a little bit scary when, when the zombies can hit back from a distance. That's a little scary. So this 
poor Warner up there is taking some damage because he's getting eaten and he is taking damage um, from the pea shooter shots. Okay, this is bad. Let's go ahead and do that. Put another wall nut there. Oh, this is like a total mess. Like, we're doing okay. We're making it work, but it's not easy. That's like definitely the case. <laughs> that is not easy whatsoever. We need to put down at least two more walnuts for sure. Uh, come on, come on. I need to get like a torchwood out or a walnut or something. There we go, that works. These walnuts will really take a beating this round. We're about to hit our first huge wave out of two, so things aren't really going perfectly. They're going as well as they can, and I appreciate it. Let me protect that torchwood, because it's hard to replace the torchwoods because it costs so much more. More than three times as much as the walnuts. And we're, ma we're making a lot of sun, but not that much sun, you know? But we got all the torchwoods we want out, so as long as we can just, you know, keep covering things with uh, potato mines and the such, we should be good. And the walnuts, and then maybe we could have an extra row of pea shooters. That could be good. Let's see what ends up popping up, because we did see some walnut zombies, which were weird. Um, there he is, he's one up top. So, first off, boop, boop, and then I'm gonna do that. That way we're getting two peas over there. I actually haven't gotten a torchwood down here. So now we do. <laughs> awesome. So things are working out. I think we're all set up now. We can just sort of make an army of pea shooters. Chompers can go up if they need to, but I think we're sort of fine how we are. Um, I mean, this walnut's a little beat up, so hopefully he ends up okay. There we go. Look at those pea shooters go. I'm so proud of them. There's another one down here I want to do away with. Okay, okay, almost there. But this is the kind of mini game that I was really hoping would show up in PvZ2, but from my knowledge, doesn't at all. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure Zombotany and a lot of these other mini games you only see here. And that's where some different ports of PvZ1 become really interesting. There are some console specific ports, I are mini games in those uh, ports. So like Plants vs. Zombies DS has some mini games that are in no other PvZ game, which is really cool when you think about it. And I think there's even like a versus multiplayer mode in the console Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions where there is two players. One of them is the plant player who can play some plants and then the other player is a zombie who can play some zombies. And that is such a cool idea. And I like it a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot that we even had Wintermelon. Uh, not Wintermelons, Melon Pults. <laughs> Um, we're gonna go ahead and put him here, cause sure, why not? All right, well, I don't know if we're gonna be ending up another 300 sun anytime soon, but if we do, we're gonna be smacking those zombies with some melons, and it's gonna be great. Okay, so we're, we're putting out a good amount of damage because of all of that, and I still have enough for a cherry bomb if things get nasty, but I think that our pea shooter torchwood combo is enough to keep us going. So, yeah, pretty good. It looks like we've tackled some botany. Now, I think some of these minigames do pop up more than once, so we might run into like a Zambotany part two or something. I can't remember if it has a part two. We'll find out sooner or later, right? I think I need to hold on. While I could just spend the 300 on a melon pole, I might just be able to put down a very good cherry bomb. That could be helpful. Come on, come on. We can do it. Get rid of him. Nice, okay. Oh my gosh, a huge wave of zombies is approaching. I'm gonna try to place this cherry bomb in whatever situation is gonna be good. And we're gonna be left with like, what, 275 sun currently? Okay, so I see a couple of zombies here. I'm gonna let them move out a little bit. But of course, the pun with the names and botanies is the fact that obviously uh, a botanist is somebody who reach, researches plants, but zom, as in zombie, so that's sort of the pun. It's not a very in-depth pun when you think about it, but <laughs> it's a pun nonetheless. And there we go, we completed our first mini game of the day. It gave us a diamond as well. The first time you complete a mini game, I think it gives you a diamond. I don't think it does it every time, but that would be very easy to earn up coins that way. We've unlocked a new mini game. Cool, so there we go. And our next mini game is unlocked. We have a couple mini games to go before then though. So let's start with Walnut Bowling. Now this is one of course Crazy Dave introduced us to. And this is sort of a more developed version of that. Of course in the original you really couldn't get too many combos or anything. You couldn't get any coins from it. But this one you can get a lot more done with it. So it's a lot of fun. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these walnuts out. I don't wanna do too much now because if I hold on I might be able to get some combos that could help me get more coins, and that's sort of the big focus is getting coins out of these mini games. They're fun to play, but the biggest benefit is getting, you know, that sweet moolah. Okay, no more zombies are popping up just yet. Oh, we got ourselves a bucket head. 
And the bucket heads are tough because they're gonna take more than one hit. I mean, there's just not enough zombies out right now to do combos, so I might just have to leave it with what I got. The thing that's tough about walnuts, though, is that it's a 50-50 which way they'll bounce, because sometimes I'm like, oh, I'll be able to bounce off like that, 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 but instead you'll go this way and you won't actually get anything done like you wanted. I don't know if any more zombies are gonna pop up until we, gosh darn it, get rid of this guy. No, come on, I'm really bad at this game all of a sudden. <laughs> Okay, so if this goes down, oh, didn't hit him. Just barely didn't hit him, that's the worst. And we have newspaper zombies as well, which uh, if it bounces off of them, oh, there we go, there's a coin, finally. <laughs> It'll make them run quicker, so we gotta be careful about that kind of stuff. All right, for right now, we're doing okay. I'm actually going to let you run a little bit quickly so that maybe we can make you diagonal to that bucket head, boom, or just like that, oh wow. That actually went a lot more forward than I was expecting. Well, we got that. <laughs> and of course, the more we can bounce off between zombies, the higher our combo gets and the more coins we get for it, which is what I'll try for as well. But as you can see, I'm not very good at this mini game right now. There have been times I've gotten some pretty crazy combos from it, but we also have some hu huge waves coming up. We have two super huge waves on our way. So maybe we will still have plenty of opportunity to get some wonderful coins. Uh, bounce off of you. Oh, we almost got another one there, but it was slightly off screen. Okay, now we have a lot more zombies to get. There we go, one coin, two coin. So this might work out a little bit better. Now, Explodon Huts, which are these things, the red guys, they don't really give you any kind of combo bonus, no matter how many zombies you take out with them, so it's not really worth it. Okay, ooh, got you a little bit. Can I get, oh, anybody really? Yeah, okay. But yeah, one thing we'll have to look out for is that zombies don't only drop coins now. You might have seen earlier in the series, you know, sometimes we'll beat up a zombie and they'll drop a present. Well, they can drop presents now after the main game and they're very worth gr grabbing, so to look out for that. But we got more combos there. I think I got three coin combo there at some point, which is cool. Um, Cause it's just an easy way to earn up some, you know, simple cash and that could be nice. Let's see if we can't get this guy to bounce down. Like I always think like, oh, maybe it's alternating. If the guy bounces up first, maybe he'll bounce down afterwards. But it doesn't seem to be either or. Like obviously if they're on the top or bottom lane, they'll always bounce the opposite direction. But like if they're on this lane, like sometimes they bounce up, sometimes they bounce down. There's like no specific rhyme or reason for it except for it just being random. Okay, so I'm starting to run out of walnuts here. I gotta be a bit more careful. Cause now all I have is explodo nuts, which is fine. I was just hoping I could get, oh, look at all of these zombies. That is so cool. But I mean, I'm just gonna let these guys come out so that hopefully I can get some good bounces from them, boom. Okay, I got something there. Could have been better, could have been worse. Cause I can always, okay, this gets nasty. We can always use the Explodo Nut and that'll save us. Okay, that's all I can get. All right then, do that. Get rid of this guy and then get rid of these guys. Okay, that's much better. A <laughs> lot less zombies now. So we got through our su first super huge wave pretty easily. Nothing big happened there. I mean, I was hoping for some more coins from it, but we didn't quite get that. I don't know how many, like what the maximum is for combos. I wonder if you were able to combo up enough. Maybe you could get like a diamond. That would be so cool. That'd probably be one of the best money making methods because earning up a thousand per game would be just crazy. That's a lot of cash. Like we're gonna be doing that for the first time we complete mini games, but in general that doesn't isn't really how it happens. Cause we get like ten dollars per silver coin we get. So like out of that we're at most getting like a couple hundred if we play really well. Um there we go. Gotta be careful. Don't want you hitting that lawnmower if you don't have to. Um and then we'll get that. Okay, this is where I gotta be careful. I'm like sort of getting ahead of myself a little bit in a way that's not gonna work out well for me because I just really want coins, because I'm being greedy. What do you know? It's almost like that's a bad thing. Okay, so I gotta be careful though about the bucket head. We gotta remember, he takes three hits, so if I can't find walnuts that are gonna help me with that, I need to use an explodo nut on him. And it looks like I'm gonna have to do that, because I don't want him using the, uh, the lawnmower if I don't have to. That way, if we actually mess up and truly make a mistake, I have defenses for that. Okay. That's some coins, not bad. I mean, we do get a good chunk of coins. We're already about to break 10K again, which is pretty cool. You can, see, of course, see. Yep, we just broke 10,000 coins. Very, very awesome. I could get more normal walnuts. That'd be appreciated, but the game doesn't look interested in giving me that. There we go. Can this go down? I can. Oh, I was sort of hoping that would work out better. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these guys, because they're gonna be a problem. They get too much closer. 
Okay, so this is a pretty big wave. I think our best bet for now might even just be to activate this guy when he gets a little bit closer. Come on, come on, and boop. And this is gonna go right past him, but now we can do this, and maybe bounce off too? Nah, not quite. That apparently bounced off the bucket head, and not the newspaper zombie. Could've fooled me. Oh, we got that guy, <laughs> just barely. Come on, oh, I was hoping for a little bit more of a bounce there. I think if we bounce it off of this guy, we can get eh, something decent. And what about you? Yup, 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 oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, if it could have just gone a little bit farther, it would have been great. Oh, that is so tough to line up. These are the situations that are fun to you know just play around with. You know what? No, 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 I shouldn't just yet, I should do that and get some extra coins from it, see? That's why it's worth, do worth doing that. Oh, nice. Okay, so, I gotta be quick about this if I want it to work out the way I want it to. Okay, uh, maybe a little bit uh, foolish there. I used a lot of walnuts in a way that probably wasn't too productive. <laughs> okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're, well, I'm having fun with this one. This is always like an intense mini game. Like sometimes there are more simple ones, more intense ones. This is the one that like needs constant effort in a way. Like there's not really much I can talk about besides just going for it. I also think it's another mini game that never appears again, like in other PVZ games. I mean, it is sort of like there is a map in Garden Warfare 1 where there's walnuts rolling down the hill on like the final point that's always so tough to get around. That's always a tough one. Wait, 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 wait. Gosh darn it, I misclicked. Okay, I am not playing well. <laughs> Maybe I've never actually done this badly with the, the walnuts. Maybe it's because I'm trying too hard to get the coins? Or maybe it's just because I'm trying to talk while playing. That's always a tough one. I might not do so well right now. Usually I never go into a situation like this with so little explodo nuts. Come on, come on. Got it. Okay, well I'll use the explodo nuts as much as I possibly can. But for right now, if I could just damage you guys normally, that'd be fantastic. I think I gotta go ahead and explodo nut those guys just because they're sort of off, out of the way. There we go, that's not too bad, but it could have been better, because these guys all bounce off away from what I'm trying to get them to. Come on, I need more walnuts. Look at how many cone heads there are. There's like five cone heads there. Okay, Oh, look at that, that was pretty good. Oh, that stinks. Needed that to do that like a second sooner. There we go, that's not too bad right there. We can just keep getting walnuts. We'll be able to get rid of them like that super quick, or that could happen. Oh boy, oh boy, no. <laughs> okay, give me an exploder nut. That's not exploding. Okay, well luckily we had the lawnmower. I have not played that so bad before. I have never done that bad at walnut bowling. Well, there's a first for everything, and of course it's gonna be when I'm on camera. Okay, well, still fun. You have unlocked a new mini game. Very cool, and we got a thousand coins for it. Now, time for one of my favorite mini games of all time, and it's the slot machine. This one's pretty cool. Uh, and as you can guess, it's a slot machine. And this isn't the first time that PVZ visits a slot machine. I think there's actually like in a casino in real life, there's a PVZ slot machine. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. As you can see, it costs 25 sun to spin. And sometimes you get something, sometimes you don't. This time I got a sunflower. The whole goal of the game is to earn up 2,000 sun. So it can be quite tough at first. If you don't get good rolls, things could go quite badly. Um, so it's just about managing your sun. Like technically, oh wow, sun jackpot already? Holy cow, that never happens. <laughs> but um, I mean in all technicality, if I could find a way to survive with one sunflower and one pea shooter, I could just earn up to, uh, the remaining 1500 sun from that and win. That's, that's a plan, that's something you can do. It's just not easy. So I'm gonna keep spinning and hopefully I can get what I want from that. But getting the sun jackpot was an excellent start because now I can just keep rolling over and over again until I get more of what I want. But yeah, 2000 sun, that's quite a lot. But this is one of my favorite mini games. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes as you can see when it's rolling by, you can get like a diamond or two and that's awesome. That's a decent way to earn up some cash as well, but it's very luck based. So it's not a very easy way to do it. Can we get like a snow pea? Come on, come on. Ah, I'm not getting anything. Can I just dig you away? Come on, dig you up. Okay, we got another pea shooter, which is fine, but it's not gonna do enough to get rid of a cone head, so we need more defense. More sun, which is pretty nice, but at this point, I just need some offense to survive. Come on, come on. Give me something good. 
There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Battle slow him. Almost dead in his tracks. There we go, and the, the walnut definitely will. So I need another pea shooter for down there if I can manage, that is perfect. So all we need is two of a kind of a specific plant to get it. If we get three of a kind of that plant, I'm not sure what we get. I think that maybe we just get like multiple of that plant, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously three of the kinds are quite rare, and we were so lucky to get that really early uh, three of the kind sun. I've never even gotten a three of the kind sun, I don't think. Uh, that was a fun experience. But if we could just get like three of a kind walnuts, things are gonna go really well for us because we'll be able to already fill up three slots and only need one more walnut after that. But yeah, the, the, the zombies slowly but surely ramp up. We get more and more of them. Of course, we already had the cone head. I'm sure more are gonna start popping up like that, especially since we're getting closer and closer to 2000. We're about to break the 1000 mark right now. So we're almost halfway there. So the closer we get, the more zombies is gonna throw at us. Okay, there's another sunflower. I'm appreciating all the sunflowers. It will help me win, but at the same time, I need offense. There we go. Maybe I shouldn't have put it there. That was sort of foolish of me. That's okay, because we're gonna get more, right? Ah, not quite. Sun's good. We broke a thousand. I mean, at this rate, if we get another sun jackpot, that was like 500 sun, which is crazy. We could do that again. That'd be cool. I mean, more than anything, I'm looking for the triple diamond. <laughs> that would be awesome as well. What do I get, what do I get? More sun. I mean, at this rate, this might be the quickest win I'll have for slot machines ever. But yeah, slot machines have made their, you know, presence known in other PVZ games. Like I've said, there is a slot machine that's based off of Plants vs. Zombies that's in actual casinos, which is pretty cool. Um, but beyond that, there is also a slot machine for the solo ops in Garden Warfare 1 and 2. Uh, basically, you know, you'll get to the fifth wave or the 10th wave and it'll roll the slots and depending on what you get, you might get something good like coins or you might get something bad like a boss fight. And that's always fun. One of the cool parts about solo ops in that game. So yeah, they really like that idea. There's another sunflower. I mean, we're really earning up some sun here, but I got I did not notice that bucket out on the top. That's a big problem. Um, here, have a sunflower. I know that's sort of a bad idea, but I really, really need you to hold on for a second. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I didn't see him. Walnut, I know it's not the perfect position, but it's something to save me for now. And there's another bucket, at least he showed up in the proper lane. So I could either just try to survive by putting walnuts in front of that guy. Oh, another sun jackpot! Oh my gosh, almost there, we won! That is by far my luckiest round ever. Ever with slot machine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, we got another thousand coins for that one. Very well defended. Usually I have like a huge field of plants uh, by the time I get to 2K. But hey, that's fine. We got ourselves our fourth mini game. It's Raining Seeds. So this one takes inspiration from level 4-9 or 4-10, which is the uh, storming uh, backyard nighttime pool level. But instead of you know, having seeds come down to you from a conveyor belt, they're literally raining from the sky. So I really don't know what's different about this compare, I mean, I guess the biggest comparison between this and a conveyor belt level is that this is more difficult. If you have a plant you don't need on the conveyor belt, you just leave it there and it'll stay there. I'm gonna guess that this is sort of like vase breaker and if we leave these plants for too long, Bye bye plants. Okay, so there actually is one on this lane. I heard it walk over that uh, spike weed. So let's go ahead and do that. Scary Shroom's gonna help us out a little bit. This might be tough. Seems like we can get like just about any plant. And we get a melon pole, holy cow! That's quite the draw. I gotta put them like over here. I clicked off the game. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to do that. That's such a good draw to get. And then I got a squash. I don't know where to put him. Hard to say, I'm just gonna put him somewhere for now because he'll just chill out there. Man, I can't believe we got a melon pole. I think we can literally just get like any plant in the game. Which is pretty fun when you think about it. I'm gonna put a ton nut here. So there is gonna be a squash that works as magic on that zombie. And I'll put this here. <laughs> it's just really weird to work with it, especially since like I can't see in the fog. That makes it even more difficult. Cause it's hard to sort of plan out what I wanna do. But we have one, two, three, four different, uh, you know what? It might be worth freezing right now. Yeah, do something like that. I can blow away the, the fog to get a better idea. We have four super huge waves to survive. There was not even a single 
uh, main storyline mission level that had that many. That's craziness. Anyways, you're a little slowed, so I can do this, and hopefully it's enough to take you out, or we are done for with that newspaper zombie. Uh, okay, now I can protect him. That was perfect timing. Oh, I got a 50 coins out of him. Well, thank you. Okay, this is a very weird, oh, we get another one. I gotta put him up here. Get as much splash damage as we possibly can out of it. Cause that's gonna hit the uh, his neighbor up there, as well as whatever zombies uh, on the second to bottom lane. I gotta start using the shovel as a pointer without making a horrible mistake, but there's a zombie up there. The melon pole that was hitting a zombie here was also hurting him a little bit. I have a torchwood that I don't really need at the moment, so I'm just gonna put him there for aesthetics and nothing else. Okay, so we're doing all right here. Ooh, this is good. There we go, that clears up some, some much needed info. This guy is a bit of a problem. The, uh, the cone head in the water lane. But this should help. I really probably should have put this cacti somewhere else, but I just, I'm worried about that cone head being a problem. Because I need something to take care of that brown coat on the top. Come on, come on, hold on tight. Ah, we lost that, that's okay. Ooh, here we go. So now I have a pea shooter doing some work here, pretty good with the torch wood. So we're about to hit our super huge wave. Ooh, three Peter, I'm gonna put that here, because I feel like that's a good spread to have. Hmm, this is all kinds of tough. But I'm pretty sure you can't leave the plants just on the floor, they'll ev eventually end up disappearing, and that's not something I wanna risk right now anyway, so I'm just gonna place down whatever I can. We get another magnet room, I don't really need this many. I mean, usually two does the job for me, but oh, we can get rid of that screen door, which is nice, even though I do have a fume shroom chomper. I'm gonna put you here, because I feel like the bottom lanes need a little bit more defense. Hmm, and I get a spike weed. I would like to protect the first lane with spike weeds, just in case maybe a uh, zomboni shows up. We got a uh, kernel pole, first kernel pole of this round. So sometimes you get some nice, and there's a second one. You get some nice expensive plants, sometimes you get some in the middle, or sometimes you get some zero costs, which aren't too exciting. But it is fun to get that kind of variety. Okay, so there are certainly some zombies popping up down here that I can't quite see yet. If I could get another lantern, that'd be fantastic. A hypno shroom for protection for right now seems pretty good, I'll put it there. Oh my, I don't know where that zombie is, but I can't see him, which is no good. He's right there, oh no! Oh no, indeed. Oh, okay, his music box broke. I've never seen that happen. Usually, he he dies before his music box breaks. That's bizarre. Um, And he still ate it. Oh, maybe I blew it away with the blover. I, I keep, apparently I keep pronouncing that wrong. Um, I'm trying to fix that, but <laughs> some words are easier for me than others. So I'm gonna hold on to this for now, maybe? Because it's starting to disappear, but if I click it like this, it's fine. Uh, don't take that, thank you. That's fine. Oh, hey, little star guy, we're just gonna put him in the water. He'll hopefully be able to hit somebody. I don't know, it's always, it's never really too useful to only have one star fruit, not another one. Leave them alone. I'm getting a lot of melon pots. I don't know if I'm supposed to be getting this many. Darn it, we couldn't get rid of him. That's fine, luckily we had more than one. I didn't mean to put him there. <laughs> he does, that car is gonna sit there and do nothing. Also, I have nothing on the bottom water lane except for the three Peter, but I guess the three Peter might be enough. Can I put a doom shroom on a lily pad? I've never tried that. A huge wave of zombies is approaching, so if I could hold on to this for just a couple more seconds, and then plop it. There we go, awesome. I got a coin out of it. I mean, I guess it didn't do a ton. No, no, not the, not the melon pole. Yeah, you butter butter him up. Butter him up something good. Come on, get him. Come on. Uh, oh, come on, that's so unfair. Oh my gosh. Okay, well we got another repeat. I'm actually gonna put him in the water lane as well because there is a bucket head heading down that way which is not good. I gotta handle that any way I can. Okay, so I got this guy. I'm gonna put him here. That way we just, oh, goodbye star fruit. Ha! Oh wait, that's just gonna make you take the lily pad. <laughs> I thought that that would make it so it's like, ha, you don't get a plant now. No, he just takes the lily pad. <laughs> Should have thought about that one. Um, Don't know what I'm doing with the chili pepper, but I gotta use it, so. No, I just misclicked, and it went away. I'm making, oh, I got another one. How sweet. I think that there's a zombie there. Hard to tell, oh, I guess there was one on the bottom lane, maybe. I forgot that I had a tall nut down here. You can see it, though. 
Okay, so I got another magnet shroom. I mean, I already had two. We're getting another one, ain't gonna hurt. Okay, so we're handling ourselves decently well. Got another lily pad. I see another bucket head heading this way. Bit of a danger. The, the, the bungee zombies really are what make this level tough. Because we're already halfway through. We've already gotten two of the huge wave done. I only got two more to go. I got this. Oh gosh, you guys, you went through that tall nut? <laughs> He's getting a garlic. All right. Not a big deal. Well, you guys went through the tall nut, so I put a pumpkin there. Hmm. Yes, lantern, boom. That makes things so much easier. We are missing sort of like one little spot. I don't think it's the end of the world. Okay, that potato mine's probably not going to survive. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna need this for. Like, I really hope that there won't be a miner, but there might be. I'm just gonna have to sort of guess where it's gonna pop up because it didn't really tell us which zombies are gonna show up and which ones aren't. Come on, I need something good. That is not very good, but I'll take it. All right, well that's tearing up some of them pretty nicely, is the uh, spike weed. Okay, huge wave is approaching, I'm gonna put that there. That way if a zomboni does show up, we're gonna be okay. If I could get another seed soon. Sometimes it really holds it out from you. No, don't take that, don't take that. Oh, tall nut, right there. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well, did what I could. But luckily, all of our uh, torched peas are doing some really good stuff there. Uh, I think you'll be good for the uh, the cacti. And then we have this squash. I'm gonna put him there for protection. Do we still have one more super huge wave after this? He really doesn't like those magnet shrooms. But there's too many for him to handle. We'll put that there. We have this like weird collection of plants. I can put a ton in the water now. Perfect. It's just like a weird smorgasbord of just different plants all over the place. I see that uh, all-star moving on in the bottom lane. I have a blover that I don't really need. I mean, I can just hold on to it until some zombies pop up or until another seed plant does. See if I can't blow anything away. Okay, that didn't really, <laughs> it blew away that one square worth of fog that wasn't really doing me any harm. Oh hey, look at this, a marigold. We haven't showcased this plant yet, so it's pretty nice to have it. Of course, if you didn't see me unlock it in the last episode, you should definitely go check it out. But I didn't get to showcase it because it hasn't been really too relative. Um, and as you can see, bloop, pops out a coin. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and place the doom shroom right now. That's not too bad. And I'll put this fume shroom there. It has to be in a spot where it can actually reach the zombies, so that's not too bad. And then I got a normal walnut. Don't get rid of the torch wood. No! Gosh darn it, that was such a big part of my strategy. Oh, I get another one. That's gonna be some decent cash coming in. Oh no, oh no, these guys are gonna explode. Whenever they reach, I don't think we, oh, they didn't. <laughs> That's lucky, I don't think we've ever seen them explode except for in Vase Breaker, but it's sort of the same thing there. I'm just gonna put this guy here <laughs> for no reason other than to be sort of a makeshift uh, walnut. Okay, now I'm getting some money in here too. It's working out pretty well. Why'd I put the three Peter there? I would never know. I mean, at least it gets two lanes, but still pretty foolish. But they work basically like sunflowers, just with money. And that's amazing, because this is free cash. Okay, so we got our last huge wave coming in. Getting an extra uh, magnet shroom won't hurt, but if I could get like a another doom shroom or like a cherry bomb, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so we got our final wave. Oh, you popped out a, a, a big... Uh, golden coin, oh you are too, you guys are so nice. Ah, oh, this is so splendid. Can I get another doom shroom? Come on, please. Come on, please. Uh, three Peter, I'm up on the three Peter, I don't know. Uh, there are coins everywhere. I'm gonna put a three Peter there. Wow, there's a lot of coins. Um, this is great. Hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and do this because there are other magnet shrooms that can take that guy's bucket head and they did. Thank you, thank you. And that's the last zombie right there. Okay, we survived that, no problem. Boom, we got our diamond. We had a bunch of coins from the marigolds and from the lawnmower, so things turned out really well. And then we have Begooled. Sounds pretty fun, and it is because it's a playoff Bejeweled, which if you don't know is a very fun match em up game. One of the most, like, like one of the original match em up games. And there are Bejeweled 
uh, there are Bejeweled ports like Bejeweled 3 that are actually made by PopCap. But basically all we gotta do here is match up and when we do make a match up like that, we get some sun. And our goal is to make 75 matches as you can see on the bottom right. But when we earn up sun, we can upgrade these plants because it wouldn't be plants versus zombies without uh, plants and zombies. So that's what we're trying to figure out right now is that there are some zombies moving in and these plants will attack them. Really the onslaught of zombies usually isn't too difficult I've never lost this in the way that the zombies get through, and actually, yeah, I've just never lost this um, with the zombies get through, because you can notice that there's no lawn mowers for a specific reason, it'd be way too overpowered. Um, they can eat these plants, but that's why it's just worth upgrading them. Uh, we need a couple more sun for another one. Go ahead and get that, and then, oh, what's a match here? I can't really see. We can, of course, refresh it if there's no matches, but, I think there's one more match somewhere around here that's staring me right in the face. Oh gosh, okay, let's just refresh. And I have to pay money to act, or pay sun to actually go and do that. Maybe Bagul is something that shows up in PvZ too? I can't remember. But it's a very fun mini game. I wish it would show up more. Some people say this is, you know, fun enough to be its own game if it was, you know, fleshed out a little bit more. Maybe, I don't know. At that point, I feel like I would just play Bejeweled, which is a very fun game. I mean, PopCap is great at making, um, Puzzle games, of course, like I said, Bejeweled's a lot of fun. Peggle is so much fun. I wanna play through Peggle one day for you guys. Of course, we have played through Zomba, not Zomba, and San Aquarium. Um, and then, and that's a puzzle game. That's made by PopCap, of course. Okay, so I'm trying to make some major combos again like last time, but that was total, sort of totally luck. Gotta be honest. We can do that, I can do this. Uh, fill that up, sure, why not? Hmm, soon enough we'll be able to turn these pea shooters into repeaters, which would be good. But for now I'm gonna recycle that. And if you do find all of the matches, it'll actually go ahead and refresh everything for you for free. So it's like you don't have to worry about that. Like if you're under 100 sun and you think you found all the matches, uh, don't fret because you actually didn't. <laughs> And if you are taking too long to find them, it'll eventually sort of blink a combination for you so that you can keep progressing. Oh, that was a good double right there. Um, get that, and then oh, here's a quadruple, and then here's a triple. I mean, triple is the minimum of what you can get. So I don't know why I said that in a way like it was super good. Okay, um, I'm, I'm certain there are more combos here, I just can't find them for, oh wait, right here. Pretty obvious. And then there's this one. And then that one, pretty good, pretty good. Get that, uh, get this. There we go, ooh, here comes a good one. Oh, I guess it was okay. Yeah, there's a lot of combos to make here, but it's such a fun idea. It's one of my favorite mini games for sure. Some of these are really tough mini games coming up, but this one's a really fun one. Okay, so we got that, and then, there we go. Might have to refresh soon so we can just have a lot more because there's a huge wave of zombies coming in. I need to make more matches. That's a good match. That's a good match because remember, our goal is just to make a bunch of matches. The more plants we run out of, the harder it's gonna be to make matches. So we just gotta be quick about everything. Oh boy. Right here with the stars. The stars align, as they say. Okay, got that. I'm definitely here. And then there, we're getting close. Five matches to go, four matches to go. Uh, three. Uh, where is one more? Come on, come on, come on, I can find them, I can find them. Two, one, uh, zero! Yeah, we did it, give me that trophy. There's a thousand more coins for us. Awesome, awesome stuff. So I said that I would do the first 10, but honestly, that took me a long time. I didn't think, I, th I thought it was gonna take me half as long to get through the first five. You've unlocked a new mini game. But as you can see, we've gotten the first five done. That actually took a good while, so maybe I'll do the other five in the next episode and we'll do four episodes of minigame fun. But we're not quite done. I wanted to go back to the Zen Garden because these guys are good to start growing again. And like for these other two, they are pretty much fully grown. We could wait for them to you know, be watered again and they'll go to this state where they poop out gold coins and stuff and maybe we'll showcase that at some point. But it's not really worth doing, especially since I'm not really actively monitoring things. So I think for now, we'll sell these guys for 3,000 each. 
sounds pretty good to me. And that's a huge profit up to 22,000 now. So I could go ahead and just spend that money on my extra seed slot, but I feel like that'd be a bit foolish. I should save my money and try to earn more marigolds up. That'll make things a lot easier. The one thing I might do with my extra cash now is I'm gonna go back to the shop in a second after I give you fertilizer. Look at you growing up so fast. Um, I'm gonna buy this. This is the glove, and as you can see, it'll let you move plants in your Zen garden. So I can make things a little bit more orderly, and you think, oh, well, what's the point of that? It just makes it easier to actually water them when they're needing to be watered, so that could be pretty helpful. But from here on out, I might start doing some of this off screen. I might just, you know, feed the marigolds until they grow up, come back in a couple hours, you can grow them up again, and then use that money to buy more marigolds until we have a good couple of them, and then the pooping out coins and everything is awesome. But yeah, that's probably where we're gonna wrap things up then. I had a lot of fun with the first five mini games in the mini games selection. We'll do the next five in the next episode. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment some botany zebra so you have watched at the end that you are a zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.